everybody, welcome back to my channel. So getting straight onto this kind of easy spotlight tutorial. This is honestly the easiest spotlight makeup look I've ever ever done. So taking creme brulee from Makeup Geek first of all, and I'm using my 228 crease brush from Zoeva. This makeup look is all about the brushes. If you use the right brushes, it honestly does the work for you. So here, I'm just using my big fluffy brush and I'm going in the inner corner and I'm just doing circular motions and buffing creme brulee in. Honestly, the brush just does it for you. Your eyeball like acts as a stencil, so you don't have to worry about where you're placing the product. I just place it basically where it starts to dip in the crease behind my eyeball. That's how I know where to put these, well this colour and this shade. So I'm just going to work it in until it's nice and blended. Then using the exact same brush with the exact same eyeshadow colour, I'm just going to work this into the outer part of the eye. So I'm keeping the whole of the centre clear of product and colour and focusing this mainly on the inner and outer corner to create that spotlight. If you just use circular motions and kind of use the eyeball to kind of guide you where to put the colour, honestly this is so such an easy makeup look. Then I'm taking the 221 um, bigger crease brush just to blend out the edges because I don't want it to be harsh, I still want it to be nice and soft. Then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm going to downsize in brush. So this is all about the brushes so the smaller brush you get the harsher the more pigmented and the more precise kind of the colour is. So I'm just going to take my 227 brush from Zoeva and do exactly the same motions that we were doing before but apart from the brush is smaller so it's not going to spread further and it's, and it's going to be a lot darker and more dense. And then I'm just going to sweep this into going towards the inner part of the eye just so we've got like a gradual um, colour and it's not too harsh. Same again applies and the same principle applies to the outer corner. Then just taking the big fluffy brush that we started off with, I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended together nicely and there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going to take my new Flaming Love palette from Makeup Addiction and I'm absolutely in love with the palette. I think all the colours are beautiful and they're so pigmented. I'm taking this ready brown shade and I'm taking it on my 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. Again doing exactly the same things just with a smaller brush just to be more precise and I'm not going to take it as high as the other colours. I'm going to keep it quite low to the lash line and the inner corner. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the inner and outer corner. I'm then going to take fudge, <laughs> literally whenever I say fudge it makes me laugh because I always use fudge and I'm going to take this on a little accent brush, this is a detail uh, shader brush from um, Zoeva again. I love Zoeva brushes, you guys know they are my ride or die. So I'm just going to apply this in the inner corner and the outer corner, again sticking to quite low um, and just like sweeping it towards the inner corner just so it blends out nicely. I I am going to try next week to try and do a video where I don't use fudge. I'm going to make that my mission and I'll probably end up using it anyway. <laughs>
taking a fluffier brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges. This one's from Fruline. I got it years ago. I'm talking about like four years ago. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with this. Um, this is a setting powder from Anastasia's Contour Kit. You can use a cream eyeshadow, a white eyeshadow, whatever suits you. This was just really near to me. And I just thought, why not? <laughs> so I just put this onto the center of the um, lid. And then I'm just going to brush out the edges so there's no harsh lines or no like fallout from the powder on the brown areas with my big fluffy brush. And you can go over the eyeshadow if you feel like it needs an extra blend, but I was pretty happy with this. Then I'm going to use my L'Oreal Felt Tip Liner and I'm going to line my lash line. I'm not going to do a wing, I'm just going to line my lash line ready for the lashes. Taking the Fruline brush again and Coco Bear, we're going to do the same on the bottom, what we did on the top, sticking to the same principle, so leaving the centre bare, but just shading on the outer and inner corners. Um, I decided to skip a couple of colours because you don't need to put every single colour that we put on top on the bottom. Just make sure that it's nice and blended. I wanted it quite thick underneath, not too heavy and not too dark, but I did want it quite like a thick, nice shadow line. Then I'm going to go in with the detail shader brush again and I'm going to use fudge. This time, same principle, but I'm going to go closer to the lash line so it's more smoky right in the centre, like near the eyeball, rather than being blended down. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline gel liner. I literally use it all the time, it's my ride or die. You guys know how much I love this stuff. And I'm going to put this in the waterline, leaving the centre bare again. If I was going on night out, I probably would apply the black throughout the waterline but I just wanted it to be more dramatic and just have more emphasis and a kind of like flow with the rest of the eye um so yeah then I'm going to go in with the two gold shades from Anastasia I can't remember the name of these two eyeshadows but I'll link it all down below everything's always linked down below anyway and I'm just going to put this on that bare center just on the lower lash line you could totally apply this on top but I wanted to keep the top more neutral then to finish off the look I'm just going to take Vegas nail lashes and you can get these in Isla I buy mine online because it's just easier for me but I think you can get them in some drugstores especially if they're bigger drugstores and that's it just apply mascara on your bottom lashes and that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys have enjoyed this look please let me know if you want me to do any more or specific looks I'm gonna try and do something a little bit fun and a bit different on my channel next week but yeah if you haven't subscribed please subscribe already and until next time I'll see you soon bye